got one. Let's see what this is. A little sunfish of some kind. I guess it's a little bluegill or something bluegill adjacent. Pretty fish. Bluegill number two. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, see ya. Number three. This is just fun. There's a big old bass right there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I got a bluegill instead. <laughs> Cast the bass. Oh, caught a bluegill. That's okay. Nothing wrong with these little guys. Whoa, didn't even realize I had one on. Oh, this is a different fish. This is not a bluegill. What is that? Looks like a little perch or something. All right, caught seven fish here so far. I think I'm gonna tie on a dry fly. See how the fish like those. I have a little, some little elk hair caddis flies. So we'll try that out. All right, we have a size 14 El Caracatus on here now. Let's see if we can get any with this. This is kind of a fun excuse to try out new flies because I don't really fish with many flies. I basically use one fly for everything. Yeah, several, uh, several little pecks. Let's catch one fish on this thing and we'll switch to another and the fish do not like this fly oh except this guy he likes it all right we caught one on the famous el care caddis Dry fly fishing for bluegill. <laughs> Extreme stuff. Whoa, there's a big old fish right here. I don't know if it's a bass or a catfish or what. You see that? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, come back, come back. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, let's switch to a different fly. All right, we're not gonna fish this little guy. This is a uh, 
So it's made by the trout magnet people. I think it's called the mini magnet or mini trout magnet. Uh, I think they call it the world's smallest jig head. Definitely not a traditional tankara fly by any means, but then again, this is not traditional tankara fishing. So let's try this little guy. There's definitely interest in this thing. Just gotta convince a fish to take a chance on it. This is the chartreuse one. I have pink ones too. Here we go. I got these at uh, these little lures. I think at Cabela's for a few dollars. Oh, seems like it was effective. Yeah, they were really interested in that thing. Took them a little while to commit, but they were all sorts of checking it out. I think I'd like to try these things on a trout stream, on a more tradition in a more traditional Tinkara setting. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. Again, not traditional Tinkara. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. All right. This might be the biggest one of the day, not that that's saying much. Very nice. There's a bigger fish. Checking it out. Come on. Come on, bigger fish. Well, caught a smaller one instead. Okay, so so far this has been about as effective as the Utah Killer Kabari, maybe even more so, catching them faster. This is a very effective little little thing. Oh, had one on. Oh, had another one on. Yeah, this is uh, this is the the lure of the day. The fly, quote unquote, fly of the day. It's a little bit heavier than what I'm used to fishing. Oh, here we go. Here's a good size fish. What is this? It's like a trout. Not a trout, is it? No, it's not. But it's definitely the biggest fish of the day. What is that? Is that a crappie? I have no idea. Whatever it is, it's the first one that I've ever caught. Help me out here. I'm not very good at, at identifying fish that aren't trout, so what is that? All right, I'll fish for another 10 minutes or so and then let's call it a day. I'm not exactly sure what the best way to, to present this lure is. I think I've just been kind of letting it dead drift. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely, oop, definitely the lure slash fly slash whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's a lure, it's not a fly, but it's the fish attractor of the day, the MVP for sure. Let's wiggle it a little bit, see if that, oh yeah, that definitely works. That might even work better. All right, let's catch two more fish. Let's continue along with wiggling the rod handle just back and forth a little bit. They're definitely, oh, that was the smallest one of the day. Oh, 
Okay, let's get one more. Well, that didn't take long. First cast after catching that last one. Okay, there we go, last one of the day. Well, I don't know about you, but I had a lot of fun doing that. I know it was a little bit of a departure from my normal videos, but it's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? I'll put a link to those mini trout magnet lure things in the description, uh, an Amazon link if you want to go check them out. They worked really well for the, uh, for the little, little sunfish and whatever other fish are in here. I ended up catching like 16 fish in an hour, hour and a half-ish, something like that. Good little, good little afternoon adventure. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.